Rick's Reviews, and we have yet another weekend with rain in the forecast, so it's a good time to head to the movies if you want to stay inside and stay dry, but I like that there's actually something to see. A lot of huh. times it's been, you know, post-COVID very slow yeah. with production. We had the writer's strike for a long right, time. Right. Now you've got things to review. And uh, uh, I guess officially or unofficially, this is the start of the summer movie season. Okay. So we're starting off with The Fall Guy. And what I think what we need to know before we do anything else is to know that the director, David uh, Leach, was a stuntman himself for oh. 20 years. So then he get, went into directing. So in this film, The Fall Guy, which is based on the, the 80s TV series that starred Lee Majors, let's just say loosely based oh, okay. on it. the name of the character and the theme song at the end about the only thing connecting. But, really? anyway, okay. but anyway, he handles all the action sequences great and it, it's full of action. Now we get to the romance between Ryan Gosling's character and Emily Blunt's character, and I wish David had worked on a couple of rom-coms. Okay. Because the writing for the for the romance part of it is so juvenile and so hackneyed. Mm. It reminded me of those little, you know, those little card uh, Valentine cards we give out in the first grade that had those just like "Be my friend." Yes. That's sort of the dialogue of the, mm. of the romance on that, but the action is is strong enough, and I found. It surprised the heck out of me because I didn't think Ryan Gosling could be any more charming than he was as Ken. Right. And he, he eclipses it here. Really? So even as bad as the dialogue is, he and Emily Blunt are just perfect. They have great chemistry. And they're both good enough actors that they can say so much with their faces and their eyes that even when the words are stupid... <laughs> You get you get the romance of, of these two, and so you want them to get together. Anyway, it's a, it's it's a mystery that uh, the the main guy in the film, who's the star that he's that he's the stunt guy for, mm -hmm. goes missing. Uh, Ryan Gosling's character called in to try to find him, and then he gets into a lot of trouble and becomes maybe the fall guy in a different way. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little new meaning there at the end. Ex double meaning on double it. Meaning. Let's just say I don't want to give anything away, but there's a double meaning to it. But again. Action sequences are great. And because it's a movie within a movie, you get the action sequences being filmed for the movie and then the action sequences for the Fall Guy movie. Cool. You, get do you get a double dose. Because I was going to say, I keep glancing over at this trailer and there are times, there's he is this cat. There's a charming kid. Right. So there are times when it looks very, very cheesy, but that's the point is because it's about a movie being filmed, right? Yeah, and it's a bad alien movie, let's yeah. just face it. But but that's the the idea is not necessarily that it's about, it's a love letter to stuntmen. Okay. And, and the, and the director, again, 20 years doing it and, and working on some like the Fast and the Furious films and John Wick, he knows action. He just doesn't know romance, but that'll come. That'll That's come. And cool. again, in a case like this with a summer movie when all we want is sort of popcorn, I, I can give it a B. Okay. It's well worth seeing. Nice. Yeah. And I, I want to go back to the stuntmen really quick, just because we have a little more time. They're kind of the unsung heroes in Hollywood. Oh, Everybody's like, oh, yeah, the stuntman's great. Back to me, the star. The stuntmen are the ones doing the really fun stuff, but it can be dangerous, too. And so I love that this plays homage to them and the work they do. Yeah, and, and it's funny you mentioned the, 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 the unsung hero. Mm -hmm. that The original TV series, the theme song was called The Unsung Hero. Oh, really? It's reprised in this by Blake Shelton. Cool. So we get it at the end. So th those of the, you out there who remember that TV show, like me, you'll, you'll recognize that theme song. Perfect. Well, thank you, Rick, yeah. so much. That looks like a lot of fun. It's in theaters today. Yeah, and don't forget, tomorrow is Star Wars Day and Free Comic Book Day. So go buy to your, your favorite comic book store. Uh, not all of them are participating, but the ones that are, we're going to have special sacks of comics giveaway. Support your local comic book store. They, they really are a great way to get kids to learn how to read. They really are. Graphic novels just get those kids pulled right yeah. into the pages. Uh, even the simple, the, there are comic novels for, for young kids mm -hmm. that just, and again, it's a great picture book and everything. So yeah, so t tomorrow's going to be a fun day with uh, Star Wars Day and Free Comic Book Day. Perfect. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you.